Hey guys, welcome to today's podcast. Welcome. All right, so uh, today I want to talk about success. Oh shit, I'm the wrong guy to talk to, man. <laughs> what am I talking about? Let's see. So I'm not Tony Robbins. A lot of people want to right. be successful. Everyone wants to be successful, right? Yeah. And everyone has different ways of going about it. Yeah. But you, through the media of martial arts, yes, your idea of you know, finding the right path to it is to study people who are already successful. So instead of trying to find a path to the success, you want to f reverse engineer the path of successful people. I do? Yeah. Word. That's what you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, for example, you know, they say you study a martial art, right? Yeah, man. And you're like, okay, how do I punch hard? Or how, do I, how do I do the techniques better? And so on and so on and so on. Versus you find a master and be like, hey, man, how do I punch harder? Which techniques should I do? And how should I do them? One step before that, though, I think. First, follow your heart to see how you want to fight based on your temperament and your natural inclination and movement. Once you know how you want to fight, then study the top people that fills in that container. Right. That's different than just studying a bunch of people that's really, really good because a lot of what they do won't apply to you. That's crucial, the first step. That's one thing you said as well, that even yeah. if you talk to someone who's really high up there, they Doesn't won't be able to tell you how they got there because a lot of times they forget. Just talk about that. It's like yeah. a Michael Jordan walk in the room and he's, and he's like, I'm going to pay you out his money, Michael. You teach me how to play basketball like you. What's the chances you'd be as good as him? Yeah, pretty low. <laughs> Very low. Yeah. You're not Michael Jordan. You don't have his DNA. You don't have his attributes. height. You don't have his size. You don't have his attributes, right? So just st randomly studying successful people is not going to help you. It has to apply to you. What that means is you're first going to know yourself enough to know what you want versus what you can do naturally, right? From a Mercer point of view, it's like, look, you're 230, 220 pounds. You squat like 300 and something pounds. You're extremely strong, big dude. The average Canadian... <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. Love my country. Yeah. <laughs> it's five foot ten, 171 pounds. <clears throat> Only 32% of Canadian right now has a gym membership. 85% of that don't show up. What's the number to that? So whatever number is left, maybe 90% don't do power training. They just lift accessory lifts, they call it. So let's just call that pretty weak, to be nice. So the average Canadian's five foot ten, 170 pounds, pretty weak. With no combat experience, most of them. And even if they train, most people don't train full time. Even the ones that do, never been in a real fight. <laughs> so your chances of meeting someone that is as big as you, as strong as you, that is trained with combat experience, is you got a better chance of winning a damn lottery, right? Right. Okay. Little guy. Everyone knows little guys can't fight. I'm, way, I'm 100 pounds lighter than you. Old guy. I'm almost 50. Everyone knows old guys can't fight. Traditional ancient martial art guy. Everyone tradition. Everyone knows traditional martial art doesn't work. All the odds are stacked against me, man. <laughs> so what works for you, big white guy, is a lot different than what works for a little Chinese guy that's old and weak and doing ancient martial arts. So we gotta pick different paths, man. <laughs> So what does success look like to me, and what does it look like to you? So you got to pick a certain system, style, ism that works for your fish shizzle. And I got to work, since the odds are stacked against me, man, I got to pick certain things that work for me as an old man, little Chinese guy, stuck in my ancient ways. So what works for you and what works for me ain't going to be the same. This is strictly for the podcast because we do the same thing, actually. Yeah. He actually trains with me sometimes. <laughs> so, but objectively, doing different things, right? Right. Okay. So the set of successful people that you study for your methods, it's going to be a lot different than a bunch of people I'm studying for my methods. i got to find little dudes in the history of martial art that has beaten bigger dudes. and was able to retain it when they're old. Not theory, not projection, not imagination, not dogma, not doctrine, but historical facts. I gotta find dudes that are like, ah, he's roughly my size, he's roughly got the same temperament, cultural thinking, okay? 
He's been beating people up that's bigger than him. He, well, he did it when he was 50, 60. Okay. Hmm. How does he move? Ah, oh, no, unfortunately, he moves like that. I can't do that. That's, I, I move more like this, naturally. Okay. And then eventually I go, oh, man, this guy's also a little dude. Oh, he did beat up bigger people. Ah, also, he did it when he was old. And he's been very successful, never lost. Okay, I'll copy this guy. Oh, wait. Uh, he lived in an ice-cold country with a lot of ice. No kicking, no fancy footwork. He'll slip and fall. That doesn't apply to me. I don't live in Alaska or the Arctic. Okay, next guy. Oh, I'll find another guy. He's little. He's fast. He's got natural inclination and movement. He's been beating up bigger people. Blah, 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 blah. Ah, he doesn't live in a weapons area. All his fights were dueling in empty hand. I live in a bladed area. I got to deal with blades. That's not going to... You see what I mean? So you start right. interviewing in your head people that apply to you. Now, look at you. You try to copy the same successful guy I do. You go, you're like, I'm 100 pounds bigger than this guy, man. Yeah. I'll never move like a little squirrel. I'm a bear. And I'll never move like a bear. You can train a bear all you want. You'll never outrun a horse, right? Or Wallow J, the grandmaster, once said you can train. What do you say? You can train a sing, sing Bernadine all you want, but you'll never run like a greyhound or something. But you get the idea, right? Right, right. So you can train a rabbit all you want. You'll never fight like a tiger. Same idea. So, so the first step is, man, honesty, self-love and knowledge. To know yourself well enough to go, look, man, I move like this. Look, man, I'm old. Look, man, I'm, I'm small. Look, man, I, I train in the ancient ways. Okay. Profile. Now you list 10 guys that fits your profile that are successful. That means first you have to have the ability to let go of style. 10 different guys, they might not even be in your favorite style, but hey, I saw Yip Man 10 times, I wanna be a Wing Chun guy. Yeah, but these guys that fit my profile None of are not Wing Chun guys, let, let's say. I'm not saying true or false, I'm being hypothetical. Right. Okay, so now I have to make a choice. Do I copy something that doesn't fit my profile or do I copy something that fits my profile? So, okay, let's say I'm smart. And I go, you know what? I'm just going to go with the profile. These guys fit my mind and body and they succeeded. Okay, that's the second step. Then the next thing, I go and copy these guys. And I found out even though we're the same profile, still a large percentage of what they do doesn't apply to me simply because we got different DNA. So now my next thing is, okay, this is similar to me, but what can I extract that I can make work personally? So you extract that. And then you test that. Then you readjust that. Then you retrain it, retest it, readjust it, blah, 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 blah. And that's the first stage how mammals learn, imitation. That's, you know, you have a baby oh, yeah. daughter. That's, yeah, how, yeah. that's how kids learn, right? right? They model you, they imitate. Okay, that's healthy and necessary, so we got that out of the way, right? Then the next stage is independence, all mammals. To be healthy, you wanna be able to go on your own, right? So now you should forsake and, and respect, but put it aside, all your role models. Now it's time for you to readjust your stuff. Right. And now, functional. But there's so many fence of what we just talked about, you have to hop through that, I would argue most adults can't. Res not being attached to your styles and belief systems and your feelings, but looking at actual profiling, most people can't do that. They don't want to let go of their belief system. If I'm liberal, I can't let it go. If I'm conservative, I'm not letting that. People are so divided, divisive, and so attached to their religion, political views. Marshall is no different, right? Well, It's like a cult. What if you can't find someone? What do you mean you can't find someone? History is pretty... History is history, man. I yet no, have I'm just to, saying, like, you... you Profile yourself in such a way that you think there's no, nobody been, that fits my profile. You're that special, man. <laughs> That's being special that has, has made one. it. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Let's say, unfortunately, you're so damn special <laughs> that no one's like you. You're the first in ever. All right, then. Well, then I guess you got to skip step two and just go straight through. Here's me and my body type. Just randomly learn a bunch of shit but then test the crap out of it and keep on adjusting, reinvent the wheel. And because you're reinventing the wheel, it'll take you a lot longer, but it's possible. Everything that has ever been invented in Mershart, if it goes extinct, will be reinvented again according to 
most pe most great founders. Simply because of the human condition, it would be reinvented again. It just take a long ass time, but it can be done, right? But his model is very important because, I mean, it's not uncommon now, like in the meditation field or the martial art field, that you know, like people come and train for a year or two, and they proclaim themselves as an expert or a master. Right. That's one of the key motivations why. A lot of my teachers and a lot of the grandmasters that I know of have quit teaching. They get so disgusted by that because it's straight up lying. So when you go and go, hey, man, I, I got my profile and I want to copy these successful guys. Be careful what you wish for because everyone's an expert nowadays. Be very careful. You easily waste 10 years. Like when Bruce developed his leg clothes, Jesse said it took him 10 years. And this guy was training 40 hours a week with a learning curve faster than an average human. So he didn't because he's awesome, but imagine if he was dumb and he copied the wrong guy. That, that you wasted 10 years, man. How many 10 years do you have in your career? So when you copy, copy successful people, when he means successful, that's why history is important. Because everybody is, is successful. Everyone's an expert. Everyone's a master nowadays. All they got to do is train for a couple of weeks nowadays. And you never have the full picture never have all the details you're still independent in the end right all you have is this image yeah it's, and it's not about style like um talking about like darting at somebody really haven't seen anyone quicker than bruce i'm talking about close range hitting combination power and speed and same thing. very few people are going to even come close to tyson right Talk about one shot and the guy's done. George Foreman, right? You get with some of the Okinawa Karate Masters, right? You talking about pressure sticking? You could have a, do a lot of mental gymnastics or find someone that was better than Jesse, I think. Right? You talking about weapons? I can go on, but every attribute has somebody that's like, wow. Right? But it's not style. If you're going to attach to style on a Mac, you, I just listed six styles right now. Yeah. No, actually, no, I listed four styles right now. If you're going to attach to style, you automatically say, I'm not allowed to do that. I'm not allowed to do that. I'm not allowed to do that. It's almost like racism, right? <laughs> it is. It's a Stylism. form of prejudice. <laughs> it, Stylism. People that are attached to style, I bet you they, the, they don't know it. They have the same framework as racism or, or, or any kind of discrimination. You're attached to one thing and then I identify with this. People that identify strongly with something, automatically there's prejudice, right? Right, right? They're not open. They're not open to adapt, right? They don't want to see. So if you want to succeed, you've got to copy successful people in the beginning. That's how mammals learn. But first you're going to find successful people. So that means you have to first, to recap, profile yourself accurately. And then you have to find people that are actually successful. And both of those things are extremely hard to do because it's hard to find successful people because everybody is an expert nowadays yeah. after a couple of weeks. And it's hard to profile yourself accurately because we have a habit of projecting awesome self-image. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest of how you actually naturally move, not how you want to move. Let's be honest about your attributes. Well, I'm not quite sure how many humans want to hear that. It, that, there's a reason why, like, like Masashi said, take the, think of the world deeply, but take, don't take yourself seriously. I think that was one of the biggest secrets of his greatness, as good as he was. Like, even, or when I talk to, like, Bruce is a very cocky person, right? But privately, when he was doing self-assessment and how he's doing, he was the most self-critical bastard you can find. He was really hard on himself. Michael Jordan was the same, right? Van Gogh was the same. I mean, if you look at really top-notch people, they didn't project an extreme cocky self-image on themselves. They were extremely honest with themselves and self-critical. They're humble. Unless you have that trait, good luck profiling yourself, right? I think uh, even actors like Marilyn, Marlon Brando was like that. Too. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like, you know, to, to be excellent, to profile yourself, you got to be honest. Yeah. Don't lie to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to love excellence more than you love yourself. So you become part of excellence. If you love yourself more than excellence, you'd have to disengage. You're separated. So there's a path that's important. Not you. Same street, different guy. 
If it was here before you were born, you'll be here after you're dead. You're a part of a legacy of a path. If you realize that, that's a beautiful thing, right? If you don't and you get selfish, you never profile yourself properly because you're projecting all this awesomeness that you don't actually have, right? That's a very hard one, right? But it's, it's a very good one because you will learn three to five times faster than the next guy if you can do this. Most guys are not profiling themselves and copying successful people. What they're usually doing is following the crowd and copying an ism of some sort. Whether it's in politics or martial art or meditation or anything. They're, right. co- they're following some thing to identify with. Like so somebody's a, figured it out. They have all the answers. Give them to me. And it, it sets well with my feelings. So I'm going to copy this. Right. And that's, nah, that's not reverse engineering stuff at all. Well, it's completely different than what you're talking about, right? Right. So and, and when we're talking about, because we try to talk about meditation every uh, episode here, but meditation is quite, quite the same. You have the same sickness in meditation where people were this guru ism cult religious thing is, is so steep into it versus doing nothing and then seeing what actually happens out of you that's a complete separate practice right right and as usual i recommend in the west to look into zen because there's also tibet dochen it's really good in original Tao, but a tibet version in the Chinese, the Taoist versions, extremely hard to find in the West. I think a easier version would be Hinduism and Buddhism, especially Buddhism. There's a billion books on it. So it's easier to tap into the community, right? But yeah. Any other questions, Chris? No, that was great. As well, always, man. Right? Oh, good, good. It's a wrap. Next time, guys. <laughs>